how do you actually get to that place? And what did that look like for you? What mm. were you personally doing to avoid yeah. going back down that path again? Yes. For me, the biggest thing was meditation. Why? Not because I got enlightened. <laughs> no, I use meditation to just in a simplest form to observe my thoughts and almost create space between we could see the awareness or the observer, quote unquote, and the thoughts I was generating. And the meditation allowed me always to create a space. So when the thoughts started happening, why did she do it to me? Or, oh, I could do this differently. All I did, I observe it. A lot of people chase the thoughts. They make them bigger. So the thought begins, why did she do it? And now you, the voice starts to have some uh, arguments in the head, right? Like, yeah, I don't know why she did it. Maybe I could do this differently. Oh, if I could go back, I would do this. And the whole head is going kind of crazy and your downward spiral going down because you're just get, making it bigger and bigger and you're feeling worse and worse. But what I did instead when the thought arises, I only observe it like a passing car. I just let it pass. And then what happened? For five minutes, it was good. And another thought. I would let it pass. But what was happening, I was basically creating a space through meditation between me or the observer, we could say, and the thoughts that were being generated. And I decided not to encourage those limiting thoughts because that's how people drive themselves crazy. It's not the situation that happens, it's your thoughts about the situation. True. Because when I met my current girlfriend, what did I say? Oh, I am so happy I broke with the past one because this one is much better. So we always then look back usually on the situation and we are happy it happened. But in that moment, it's har harder to do, of course. But basically the situation I tell people is neutral because it could, there could be five people observing the same situation. And one guy could say, that's amazing. That's a blessing. One guy could say, that's a disaster. One guy could be totally neutral. Situations are neutral. What's not neutral is head talking about it. But I realize that the head could talk, but I don't need to encourage it. I don't need to put en energy in it. And that helped me tremendously to just observe how crazy thoughts the, the mind was generated. And I'm the guy who can decide not to invest energy in that.